Welcome, Welcome to Yara, to Yara Live, Live Session. session. Today, Today we travel, we travel all, the all the way to Kisaju, Kisaju all, the way all the way in Kajero, in Kajero County. County. Na leo na leo ni kama survey katika simu yako na kuna, na kuna yale, yale chungu nzima ambayo ni nzuri katika ile uh, katika ile application kwa hivyo yangu ni kuweza kuwaimiza wewe unaye tizama enda kwenye simu yako download Yara Farm Care your farming companion labda sasa ningependa tuvuke mipaka na ningependa leo uh, ni wa leteni mwalimu wetu wa siku ya leo ambaye ni mwalimu Godfrey. Mwalimu Godfrey asante sana. Imekuwa ni muda tangu tuweze kujumuika na wale ambao wanatizama leo. Kwa wale ambao labda unaweza ukajiuliza, leo tumekuja katika shamba ya mkulima Alexin na tumekuja kuelewa e, imekuwa vipi tangu aanze kutumia mbolea za yara. Na labda umekuwa na maswali chungu nzima, imekuwa aje akapata uh, uh, mmea ambao kabisa inanawiri hivi. Siri jinsi mkulima Alexina alivyosema siri ni mbolea ya yara. Kwa hivyo mwalimu, labda nikupishe uweze kutuelimisha kwa kifua, kwa mapana na marefu kuhusiana na programu ya yara na uzingatia pia zile stages ambazo ni muhimu katika ukulima. Na labda pia uweze kuorodesha yale mbinu ambavyo labda ni muhimu mkulima kuzingatia kabla ajaanza ukulima wake ndipo saweza akapata mmea ambao umenawiri kama hii hapa ambao tunaiona siku ya leo katika shamba ya mkulima Alexin. Karibu sana mwalimu. Asante Ronald na shukran sana kwa wale wote ambao wameweza kutukungana na sisi leo kwa session ya leo. Na karibuni sana kwa Limitless Farm Fresh. Uh, leo tunazungumzia kuhusu nyanya. Uh, na kama vile Alexin alivyoguzia ni kwamba siri ni mbolea ambavyo umelisha. Uh, kwa hivi sasa Alexin anaweza vuna nyanya yake kwa mpaka miezi sita. Now you can imagine for you to be able to harvest up to six months, uh, unaitaji kuwa umetunza huo mmea vilivyo. Na nitapitia kwa kifupi mbinu ama mbolea ama zile bidhaa ambazo Alexina meweza kutumia ili aweze kufikia hapo. So, uh, nikianzia wacha ni kuseme ya kwamba 
uh, yara tuna operate from kitu ambacho tunaita objective eh? uh, na kwa wakati inafika kwa mkulima wa nyanya objectives ni kadhaa tunataka mkulima avune nyanya ambayo ikienda kwa soko inakubalika na inaenda kama premium product tunataka nyanya ambayo iko na quality sio mazao peke yake pia quality ya ile nyanya ya kwamba inaiva vizuri haina magonjo ya yoyote ikienda pale kwa soko iko sawa na cha tatu tunataka mkulima aweze kuvuna kwa muda mrefu so hizo objective tatu we have to work around them na tumpatie solution ambayo ataweza kutumia aweze ku achieve hizo objectives zake tatu so tukienda direct kwa mbolea ama bidhaa ambazo tunatumia kwa kwa ukulima wa nyanya tunaanza na mbolea ambayo inaitwa yaramila power yaramila power ni npk na iko na magnesium sulfur na zinc so mbolea hii inapatia mkulima ile kitu tunaitanga balanced diet ya mkulima yangu ya, 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 ya mmea wake so what this will do uh, it's usually applied during transplanting wakati mkulima ana transplant anakuja na hii yaramila uh, power anaweka kwa kila shimo ambalo atakuja kutransplant anachanganya vizuri na mchanga na anapanda pale nyanya yake so what this will do will give this crop a very very good start crop ambayo inaanza kwa nguvu inaanza kwa afya nzuri such that hypothesis muda inaenda direct to whatever it wants to do whatever it was meant to do hakuna kupoteza muda pale katikati it goes straight to what it's supposed to do so you start very strong na kama huu mmea unaoviona hapa this is about two and a half months old already and the crop shows that it has been well taken care of na wakulima wanyanya pale nyumbani how do you know that your crop had a very good start the simplest way for you to know unajua mmea kawaida will will always communicate to you whether it's been taken care of or something is lacking and the simplest way for a, a crop to tell you whether it has received the best care at the beginning is that when it goes into production wakati ambapo imeanza kutoa matunda zile matawi yale matawi ya pale chini yanabaki yakiwa green that is a very very good indication that your crop was well taken care of kama haukutunza mmea uh, wako vizuri wakati umeanza tu kutoa matunda hivi unaanza kukauka pale chini that is an indication that it was not properly fed and it's trying to compensate by taking nutrients from the older leaves so this is a very well taken care of uh, crop at 2 and a half months so tukisha panda pale na ile uh, yaramila power imeanza about 3 weeks tunakuja na product ambayo tunaita yaravita crobust yaravita crobust is a foliar fertilizer and what this product has is that it has a high percentage of phosphorus and zinc it has some potassium and magnesium as well and what that product does is provide that shot of energy to the plant as it prepares to go into that uh, productive phase generally in this uh, region the varieties grown here will tend to start flowering at about four months you start seeing the first flowers so we want to give it energy to make sure that it has enough to go on and to be able to uh, sustain that uh, flowering process so this is the product the aravita crobust uh, the high phosphorus and high zinc foliar with the, uh, some bit of magnesium and potassium that comes at about three weeks after transplanting this is when the crop is pre preparing to go into a uh, vegetative stage remember uh, for tomato you have to it it always has a mix of stages it will have that flowering stage but it's still building its uh, plant structure so you need to make sure that the feeding program that you're using meets both the requirement of production it's uh, the flowering and the early fruits that are coming but also building the, the plant structure that will enable it to hold the fruit load eh? at the end of the day you don't want a, a plant that yes has the fruits but is weak does not be able to support uh, your your fruits and if we look closely at uh, this crop uh, you can see the kind of fruit load that this uh, crop has it has a very heavy load of fruits big size uh, tomatoes from the first tier the second tier the third tier the fourth tier is coming up and all these the, the plant has to be developed in such a way that it will be able to hold uh, all this weight as much as we support uh, the crop we also need that the stems to be strong enough to be able to carry this load for example this is this is heavy these are heavy fruits and for if the plant is not strong enough to be able to hold this you might lose these uh, fruits so as you are working towards feeding your crop you need to be able to make sure that you are covering both uh, uh, both objectives of the crop make sure that it's strong enough to carry the fruit load but the fruit load that is coming up is also developing the way it's supposed to be 
Now, now when we get to the flowering stage, our objective changes slightly. When we started, we wanted a crop that growing healthy and vigorously. When we get to flowering, we want to make sure that our flowers are healthy, they are coming plentiful, they are, and their pollination is happening correctly, and we are not losing any flowers. That is very, very important. You don't want to do all that work and then you lose the flowers from flower abortion or flower drop. We come with a product that we call Yara Liver Nitrable. This is a soluble calcium and boron fertilizer. It's very, very good in that it, it, it is able to give the crop that calcium in a soluble form and the plant is able to take that up. Now, once that happens, the calcium, once it gets into the crop, in the tomato crop, uh, it's able to uh, retain the flowers that are formed. So you reduce that incidences of flower abortion. The boron in that is able to help in pollination and you get very nice conversion of flowers to fruits. And finally, uh, for tomato farmers, something very, very important, it is very good at preventing the blossom end rot. We know that is a bad uh, physiological disorder in tomato farmers and uh, you might lose a lot uh, when, you, when you encounter blossom end rot in your farm. So here I live any trouble with the soluble calcium and boron will serve those purposes by giving you very nice flowering, retention of flowers, and avoid blossom end rot uh, in the final fruit. Now, at this stage, we have a very strong crop, a strong plant that is able to hold the, the fruits. The fruits have already formed. Now, our objective changes to ripening and fruit size. And that is where the next product comes in. And that product is the Yara Milawina. Yara Milawina is a special, very special product. It's a compound NPK fertilizer that combines secondary micronutrients. So in total, it comes with eight nutrients all in all. And what this will do is that by providing these eight nutrients, uh, it's able to meet that high crop demand. Remember, when the crop is at this stage, the feeding demand or the nutrient demand of this crop is very, very high. It has to fill all these fruits. It has to retain its foliage because it keeps growing. These, these are indeterminate uh, varieties and they need to keep growing. So you need to, the crop needs to be able to keep growing, uh, fill up all those and ripen all those tomatoes that are coming up and as well keep stimulating new flower production. So the crop is doing so much at this stage and you need to meet all these objectives. And that is where that product comes in. It's a very well balanced product that is able to meet all that. So in short, what have we done? We started our crop off very strongly and very vigorous and very healthy using Yaramila Power. Again, a compound NPK that has six nutrients. Very good start. Uh, then when it came to production, uh, reproductive stage at the early stages when we have our flowers, we come in with our Yara liver nitrable. This gives you the soluble calcium and the boron and some nitrogen to be able to convert as many flowers into fruits. Now, once you have the fruits, we come in with the final product that is Yara Mila Wiener. And the whole idea is now you need to feed all these uh, fruits that you have formed, keep the plant healthy and growing and be able to have that sustained production. Now, finally, once you go into harvesting, we recommend a combination of Yara Liva Nitrabo and Yara Mila Wiener every two to three weeks, depending on the frequency of your harvesting, just to be able to keep up with the new flowers that are coming up. Remember, each new flowers that are coming up, they need to be taken care of with the calcium and boron, and the new fruits have to be fed with the Yara Mila Wiener. So you need to keep doing that. And as we have heard from Alexine, that is the secret that has enabled her to be able to keep harvesting for a long time, up to six months, which is very, very commendable uh, from, her, uh, from her as well. So viewers, thank you, and I uh, would, uh, encourage you keep uh, the questions coming down in the chat box and we will uh, keep engaging as uh, and answering the questions that come uh, along. Welcome, Welcome to, to Yara 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 Today we travel all the way, all the way to Saju, all the way in Kajado County. 
na leo, na leo wale ambao unamkuzama kutoka nyumbani karibu sana, sana katika Yara live session. Today we, Today we want to teach you about, about tomato, tomato and onion, onion farming. farming. And we, and have, we have a range, a range of experts who will be able, be able to share, share with us vizuri na fanya vizuri. Na mmea hii kabisa imetumika katika ile programu ya Yara. Kwa hivyo mwalimu asante sana umetufunza vizuri. Tungependa kuzingatia na kuelewa kwa kina sana programu ya Yara ambayo imetumika hapa na mkulima Alexin J wakulima ambao wanatizama kutoka nyumbani wanaweza wakafanyaje wakuwe na mmea ambao unanawiri jinsi hii ambavyo tunaiona hapa karibu sana mwalimu na shukran sana Ronald uh, sasa hapa tuko kwa shamba lake la kitungu and as we had mentioned earlier program ya yara inakuja na objectives so we set the objectives that we want to achieve yes. and then we work towards achieving those objectives yeah. so hapa uh, kwa kitungu iko na stages tofauti kuna ile stage ya nursery mhm mm alafu ina transplantiwa hapa about after a month ama 6 weeks hivi ina yeah. shambani no. sasa kutoka hapa ndivyo program ya yara tunaianzishia au kweli uh, ambapo tulio tupo saa hii yeah. tungu kiko na about 2 weeks eh? yes. two weeks after transplanting mm -hmm. inaendelea vizuri na ni kwa sababu kuna jambo Alexine alifanya cha muhimu sana no. uh, so alianzishia wakati wa transplanting kabla hajaleta seedlings zake anakuja anatambaza hii mbolea tunaita yara mila pawa yara mila pawa naam na mention pale wakati wa nyanya naam yara mila pawa natumai ndio hiyo pale ambayo tunaiona naam na as we mentioned uh, what yara mila offers is a balanced nutrition yeah remember at the end of the day vile tulisema hapa ni ku make sure tume feed mmea kila kitu ambacho inahitaji naam feed mmea kenye inahitaji na itakupatia chenye unahitaji uh, at the end of the day So hapa tulikuja tukaweka yara mila pawa. Naam. So you broadcast it unachanganya vizuri kwenye mchanga Naam. and then unakuja una transplant kitunguu chako. So what do we do by doing this? Naam. Uh, tumepatia kitunguu nguvu ya kuanzisha. Kweli. So we have a balanced nutrition. Mhm. Mm Inapata kitunguu inaanza na everything that it needs to start growing. Yeah. So ndio maana unaona kimena wewe hivi after two weeks tayari all the new leaves have started forming. Uh, as you can see. Yeah. What we what we want to do is that uh, a few weeks Yeah. After transplanting, we want activity to start happening. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is a formation of new leaves. No. So this is only two weeks after transplanting, and right. we already have uh, four leaves uh, going mm. on here. So this is a very very good start. Right. So now that the farmer has done uh, the era mila power, mm -hmm. we normally come in with another product, the era vita probus that we had mentioned earlier. And mm -hmm. this product, what it's supposed to do? Love the molemu ningependa wale ambao wakulima wanajiunga na Asia Santini sana tuko na mwalimu wetu hapa siku ya leo kwa hivyo tutaendelea kuwafunza zaidi labda kwa ningependa kuomba kwa unyenyekevu mwalimu anapoendelea ku explain mtasimama tu pale pale ndipo sasa tuweze kushikilia wale ambao wako nyumbani pia waweze kutizama asanteni sana karibu tena mwalimu kwa hivyo nitaweza nikuache mwalimu uweze kuwa changudulia wale ambao wanatizama kutoka nyumbani waweze kuelewa vizuri karibu sana tena mwalimu So kama vile tumesema unaanzisha na hiyo ambayo tunaita yara mila pawa. Yara mila pawa vile tulivyosema hapo awali inakupatia NPK, inakupatia magnesium, inakupatia sulfur na inakupatia zinc. Kwa hivyo inakupatia viungo sita vya kuanzishia mmea. And by doing this unapata mmea unapata ile balanced diet ya kuanzisha na kuipeleka inavyohitajika. So hapo tushaanzishia mmea umesimama vizuri na nawiri, umepata nguvu ya kuanzisha na ushaanza ku form the new leaves what we do next tunakuja na hii product yenye tulikuwa tumetaja pale awali ya ravita crobus ya ravita crobus vile inafanya ni kupatia mmea wako nguvu inapatia kitunguu nguvu because kutoka hapa the next step ya kitunguu ni hii tunaitanga vegetative stage na vegetative stage ni tunasemanga it's a high energy demanding process kwa sababu kitunguu kiko ile active growing kinatoa matawi mpya unapata ile growth growth vile yake iko very very high so give it energy tunakujana na hiyo product inaitwa yara vita crops. Wakati sasa tumefika hapo na vegetative stage imeanza kuna product nyingine ambayo tunakujana nayo. Of which hapa our objective ni to maximize your vegetative growth na cha pili kupatia nutrient ambayo kitunguu inahitaji ambayo tunaita sulfur which is very very important kwa kitunguu kupatia ile kitunguu flavor yake. Na hapo ndio tunakuja na product ambayo inaitwa yara bella sulfur. Yara bella sulfur imechanganya vitu viwili iko na nitrogen na iko na sulfur. This is very very important kwa kitunguu kwa sababu gani? Ile stage ambayo tunaweka inapatia kitunguu ile nguvu ya kukua kutengeneza haya majani mpya ile vegetative phase ianze kuendelea kwa kwa, kwa ustadi ambayo vinavyohitajika. Cha pili ni ati ambayo hiyo sulfur ambayo imeongezwa pale 
inapatia kitunguu ile nutrient ambayo inatumika kuongeza flavor kwa kitunguu. Unajua kitunguu lazima iwe na flavor, lazima ukikata unatoa machozi. Na hii ni kazi ambayo sulfa ambayo iko ndani ya ya rambela sulfan ina ina contribute towards that. So sasa mpaka mahali tumefika sasa hii kitunguu tumepatia very good start, tumepatia nguvu ya ku deal na hiyo vegetative state na tumepatia hiyo sulfa na ambayo iko na nitrogen na sulfa ya kuweza kuendeleza hiyo vegetative state. The next stage ya kitunguu mahali tunatanga kuna pal uh, formation kati ya pal na What does this do? Ukiweka hiyo crobus hiyo stage ya mwisho inapatia tena kitunguu ile nguvu. Kuvuka crobus kazi yake ni kupatia mmea wako nguvu. Na vile itafanya ni ati wakati kitunguu kinanenepa ukiongeza pale crobus inapatia mmea wako ile nguvu ya kuendeleza kujaza kitunguu yako ili upate hiyo size ambayo unataka ya extra large. Na watazamaji, hiyo ndiyo program yetu ambayo mkulima Alexina amekuwa akitumia kwa kawaida na kwa kurudia tunaanzia na yaramila pao hiyo ndio ile ya ku transplant tunarudi tunaweka yaramita crobus pale wakati inaanza vegetative stage kuipatia nguvu na tunachanganya hiyo pamoja na yarabela sulfan tuipatie nitrogen ya kupeleka hiyo vegetative stage na tuiongezee sulfa ya kupata hiyo hiyo flavor ile ya kitunguu eh alafu wakati imeanza kunenepa imeanza ime, ime kutengeneza viazi tunaweka nitrobo ya reliever nitrobo hiyo it's all about quality na shelf life na kuongeza weight kwa kitunguu yako. Mwisho tunamalizia na yaramila wina. 
kazi yake ni kuweka kitunguu iwe na size na uzito ambao unahitajika pale sokoni. Kwa hayo Ronald, hiyo ndio program ambayo tuko nayo ya kitunguu. Asante sana. Yeah. Jinsi mkulima Alexina alisema ya kuwa amekuwa mshuhuda katika kutumia hizi programu. Kwa hivyo watazamaji walio nyumbani nimeweza kusikia kwa kina ambayo walimu waweza kuzingatia ile programu ya Yara. Haya um, product ambayo unaona hapa tayari amezungumzia kwa kina ki, vile virutubisho ambavyo vinaweza vika vikazipa mmea yako. Kwa hivyo mwalimu labda tukimalizia tu jambo lolote kuhusiana na ukulima wa wa, wa kitunguu ambaye mkulima yote anaweza kazingatia inaweza kuwa mambo gani labda ukimalizia. So kwa kumalizia kama vile tulikuwa tumetaja hapo awali ni uh, mkulima kabla aanze kwa crop yoyote. Naam. Uh, I, I decide ni nini anataka kwa chip. Yeah. Uh, I set targets. Yeah. And then sasa unaanza kufanya kurudi nyuma kama nataka kwa chip hii ni nini mume wangu unahitaji ili nifikie pale. Naam. Na vile nilivyosema awali hivyo ndivyo yara tumefanya kuhakikisha kwamba mkulima bidhaa ambazo tunapatia mkulima ni kitu ambacho kinamuofa value. At the end of the day lazima mavuno na yield na profit lazima mkulima apate. Naam. So kwa wakulima tafadhali pale ukuwa pale nyumbani ama shambani lako make sure that objectives zako ambazo unataka ku achieve kwa mmea wote umezielewa ume, ume, vizuri kabisa and then take the steps necessary kuhakikisha ume achieve those uh, objectives. Yara uh, tuko na bidhaa ambazo ziko aligned to that we product ambazo tumetengeneza ama ambazo tunaleta kwa wakulima zimedesigniwa njia ya kwamba zita meet objective na demand ya no. ambao wakulima wanapanda. Asante sana kwa ahadi hiyo ambayo umetupa mwalimu ya kuwa tukizingatia mbolea ya yara tutaweza kufikia zile objectives ambavo kama wakulima tunaweza kuyazingatia ambavo ni kwa kwamba tutaweza kupata high yield na, tutapeza, na pia tutaweza kupata a good return. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana kama una maswali tafadhali tuweza kuya uh, andika pale ama kuyanakili pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii na tutaweza kuyajibu yale maswali siku ya leo. Asanteni sana kwa sasa. Welcome to Yara live session. Today we travel all the way to Kisaju, all the way in Kajiado County. Na leo wale ambao wanatizama kutoka nyumbani, karibuni sana katika Yara live session. Today we want to teach you about tomato and onion farming. And we have a range of experts who will be able to share with us the experience on helping farmers to be able to unlock the potential of their farms. But just before we can kick off, I want to welcome our host today, Farmer Alexin. Farmer Alexin, welcome to Yara Live Session. Thank you. We are very happy to have you today to host us. Thank you. And um, we just wanted to share with our viewers, if it's Yara Live Sessions is all about connecting, is all about networking, but also all about sharing experiences. What has your experience been in farming? And of course, welcome us and tell us where are we and what is the name of your farm? Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Limitless Fresh Farm. We are located in Kajado County in Kitengela. And my name is Alexin Hasoa. The farm is called Limitless Fresh Farm. Nakaribuni sana. Asante sana. Tumueza kutembea katika shambalako siku leo. And uh, we have seen amazing work that you're doing. Please maybe show and maybe tell a bit about the history of your farm with our viewers. Tell us what crops you grow and how long have you been farming up to now? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this farm we've actually been farming for the last three years. I'm actually a corona farmer. When corona hit and there was not much that I would do, I started farming. So this is our third year into farming. And uh, I've been growing, I grow mainly onions, tomatoes, 
and we use cabbages for crop rotation. And all through, we've been working with the, using the Yara program. Initially, when I started planting, I didn't know about Yara. I would just use any fertilizer. But since I knew about Yara and I started using the Yara products, our life has changed. So we grow mainly onions, tomatoes, and use cabbages for crop rotation. What do you think has been the secret to using Yara uh, nutrition program? What has been the difference in yield, the difference in just even the, the way the crop is able to grow? Oh, there's so, so much difference, and I'm sure farmers will be able to see for themselves. Since when I started using the Yara program, like on onions, actually our tonnage like doubled. On tomatoes, you'll be able to see for yourselves. We have tomatoes which we've been harvesting for the last six months, and they're here at the farm. And Siri to Yara, using the Yara program, using Yara fertilizers, you'll be able to attest for yourselves at the farm. Kabla ni kuache wende, nalataka ni zungumze na wale ambao wako nyumbani. Umesikiliza jinsi mkulima Alexina amesema ya kuwa siri ya kunawirisha mimea yako ni kutumia mbolea ya yara. Labda Alexina napo tatamatisha na wewe na labda ni kupishe. Uh, nataka uzungumze na wale ambao wanutizama. Ni jambo jipi ambao ungeweza kuwa pa, maybe kuna wale wanataka wakue wakulima, kuna wale ambao utayara wamekua wakilima. Ni siri gani ambao ungeweza kuwa ambia wale ambao wanutizama katika hiyo kamera? Yes, thank you very much for being given this opportunity. I would want to advise anybody who wants to venture into farming or any farmers who are already doing farming, just team up with Yara and you'll be taken through a whole range of whatever you want to do. We have the agronomists, we have uh, everybody who is on top and they'll be able to show you what to do to plant at the right time. They'll give you the programs and with Yara, you'll grow your knowledge. And you know, we say knowledge is power. So you'll be able to grow knowledge and you'll be able to produce so much. And uh, Yara is the best. I have to say that. Asante sana mkulima Alexin. Kwa wale ambao labda mnajiunga nasi kwa sasa, ningependa kuwaeleza. Tumesikiliza kuhusiana na yale uh, experience ambayo mkulima Alexin amekuwa nayo. Na kila ambacho ningependa kusema ya kwa yara imeweka utafiti katika mchanga imeweka utafiti katika yale mbolea ambayo wanaweza wakawaletea kama nyinyi wakulima. Kwa hivyo ni utafiti ambao imedhibitishwa na ndi posa unaweza ukaona jinsi mmea huu wa nyanya imeweze kanawiri. Lakini pia yara imeweza iko katika kipaumbele katika ku hakikisha ya kuwa wakulima pia wanapata mambo ya teknolojia. Kwa vile kwa kisasa tunaona jinsi hali ya anga inavyobadilika, kuna yale teknolojia ambayo yara kama kampuni imeweza ikatengeneza ndipo sasa waweze kusaidia wewe kama mkulima. Na ningependa kulet kwa kuwaleteni um, rafiki yangu Evans ambaye ataweza kutueleza kwa kina sana ni teknolojia ipi ambayo yara imeweza ikaweka mbele. Kwa hivyo uh, iweze kusaidia wewe kama mkulima kuweza kuboresha ukulima wako. Evans, welcome very much. Thank we you. have all our viewers who are viewing us on all the Yara social media platforms, be it YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And um, we just want to listen to what Yara has been working on in the backgrounds to be able to help farmers to better grow their yields, to better grow their farms, but also to better be more resilient. So maybe, what do you have in store for us as Yara on the technology front? Yeah, thank you very much, Ronald. And uh, welcome, farmers. My name is Evans Wafula. Uh, your digital farming companion at Yara. So today I just want to tell you one of our innovative uh, digital solutions, Yara Farm Care. This is your farming companion uh, at the convenience of your phone. Mm -hmm. We are able to advise you on how to grow your crops. We are able to help you know the weather conditions on your farm. Mm. Also, there are other features that I'll be able to take you through that you as a farmer, at the comfort of your farm, you're able to actually um, know even where to get your farming input, uh, make an order, and also we get you connected to your nearest shop, just close to you. So that is what digital solutions at Yara are actually providing to you, uh, at least as a farmer. Evans, just before I bring it back to you and just to take us through step by step, I mean, you've talked about a bunch of interesting things that I think I've heard about, I've heard about the, the weather component, which is very critical. Yes. Of course, we know how hard it is and how important the weather plays yes. in any farming journey. And I think you will be able to take us through all the different components that are in um, Yara Farm Care that can be able to help a farm. But what I've loved to hear from you again, and I think that's the highlight for the day is that Yara Farm Care is your farming companion, right? So maybe just to 
uh, talk to our viewers who are yeah. viewing us from uh, the different platforms. Exactly. Tell us about mm -hmm. more about Yara Farm Care. Exactly. What do we have? What are the capabilities? You've, mes you've mentioned just a bit about mm -hmm. the marketplace. You've mentioned again about the weather component. Mm -hmm. What are the other tools that exist? So maybe you can take a step to step by step on what's uh, available on there. Exactly. So Yara Farm Care is a mobile application. So any owner of a feature phone, you're able to install that application and some of the benefits you're going to get is one it has a feature called weather it's a weather tool we are we, once we have the location of your farm and you have your details we are able to forecast for you on your farm uh, the weather conditions in the next couple of hours in Evans, can we do days. that practically do you have yes, it yes, yes. Yeah, yeah yeah so if you just open your phone uh, yeah if you have installed yara farm care you are able to just go to one of the tools called weather. Yeah. So let's then start. Le let's start a bit back, yes, Evans. Yes. Uh, our viewer is right there. Mm -hmm. They want to get access to farm care. Exactly. How do they? How do they get access to that farm care? I know that our technical team have also been able to share with us mm -hmm. on the description box. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to get a link that takes you directly to the Play Store mm -hmm. where you can download. But for those of us who are watching us, let's do it practically. Very simple. Yeah. Go to your phone. Yeah. Go to Play Store search for Yara Farm Care, click install. Once you install, give us a register. It's very simple, you just need your phone number. Give us uh, your details, your farm, uh, your crop, and your land size. If we have all that information, we'll be able to tailor advisory specifically, at least specifically for your farm. Uh -huh. One of the key things, as I was mentioning, uh, at least there, Ronald, yeah. once you have all that information is we have the weather tool yeah. that is able to give you a forecast of the weather conditions mm -hmm. on your farm, yeah. specifically for your farm. Right. Two, we have the fertilizer calculator, an amazing, an amazing application there, feature. We want to ensure that you apply the right quantity of fertilizer on your farm. Mm -hmm. When you click that feature on your phone, at least, at least on your phone, right. we'll, so what we'll need is just one, the acreage, mm -hmm. two, the yield that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You select the program, then once you click calculate, the application will tell you the quantity, the accurate quantity of fertilizer that you need to apply on your crop, on all crop stages. Right. Even amazing, once you know uh, uh, the type of fertilizer and the quantity, mm -hmm. we have even on the same farm care application, yeah. we have provided access to shops mm -hmm. and ability to make online purchases through our Yara Bodega platform. Mm -hmm. So you can go in there, you just select shops near me, or go directly to Yara Bodega tab, and you'll able to. And Yara Farm Care will provide to you access to shops near you with the products that you need to apply mm -hmm. on your farm. Right. That is very amazing because that visibility is very key for at least for you as a farmer, so that you know exactly where to get the product, at what price, and in which shop. Yeah. All the, all this information is within the Yara Farm Care application. Even amazing, we have the Map My Farm feature. Uh -huh. Most of us. For you to know the right of fertilizer that you need, the quantity, Anto. we need to know your land size. Map My I Farm is a tool that enables you to measure the size of your farm. No. At the convenience of your phone, that is your surveyor on your phone. So it will give you the accurate size of your farm so that you can use to calculate using the fertilizer calculator the quantity of fertilizer that you need in your farm because you know the accurate uh, size of your farm. So kindly go to... Play Store, search for Yara Farm Care, install, give us the information that we need, simple, your phone number, your farm size, your crop, and your location. That is very important for us to be able to give you hyperlocal, specific for your farm information that will help you to, uh, to grow in your farming experience. Thank you very much, Evans. Koala Mbao, Labda Amkueza Kuelewa, Labda Nivi, Seme Tukwakefupi Sana. Yara imeweza kuwaleteni katika simu zenu kile ambacho kinaweza kusaidia kukuza mimea yako vizuri. Ame, amesema kwa, uh, kwa amesema vizuri sana uh, Mwalimu Evans. Amezingitia ile ambayo inaitwa the weather tool ambayo inaweza ikakupatia hali ya anga jinsi ilivyo. Tunajua uh, jinsi umuhimu wa hali ya anga kwa ukulima wetu. Kama labda unataka kupanda utaangalia ujue hali ya anga iko vipi. Kuna ile pia ambayo inaitwa map my farm ambaye ni kama survey katika simu yako na kuna yale chungu nzima ambayo ni nzuri katika ile uh, katika ile application kwa hivyo yangu ni kuweza kuwaimiza wewe unayetizama 
enda kwenye simu yako download Yara Farm Care your farming companion Asante sana kwa wale ambao tayari mmekuwa nasi katika tangu tuanze mafunzo yetu ya siku ya leo. Na jinsi niliwaeleza kwa leo tumemtembelea mkulima Alexin. Na labda mwalimu tungeweza tuonyeshe wale ambao tayari eh, wanatutazama kutoka nyumbani. Mkulima Alexin hujambo. Tujambo wale ambao wanatutazama kutoka nyumbani. Na ningependa labda wakulima ambao wamekuja kujifunza siku ya leo. Mtusalimie tu wale ambao wanatutazama kutoka nyumbani. Hi. <laughs> Asante ni sana. Thank you. Je, imekuwa vipi leo ukakaribisha hawa wakulima kwako? Isi, isi yako kabisa ilikuwa ni gani? Like what was the motivation to invite our wakulima siku ya leo? My motivation is when I started farming as I said I'm only three years old in farming. I didn't have any knowledge. So I was taught. I was really I went to different farms and uh, people explained to me what happens and uh, also when I started dealing with Yara I realized you really want the knowledge to grow you really impart knowledge and I was like why shouldn't I open up my farm to let other people come and learn and grow and this will bring there'll be food availability sustainability in the country Asante. because I realized with you guys knowledge grows with knowledge you can do anything that is why I opened my farm for people to come and learn Asante sana. Na wakulima labda mmoja wenu labda ujitambulishe kabisa utuambie kwa majina ni nani, unalima nini. Na siku ya leo Yara iliweza kuleta wakulima hapa katika shamba la Alexin. Ni nini umejifunza kulingana na yale mafunzo labda kidogo ambayo umefundishwa siku ya leo? Ah mimi kwanza kwa majina naitwa Zefania Charles. Mm-hmm. Ni mkulima. Na pia nimetamani ku, ku, kujifunza kutoka kwa wakulima wenzangu practical. Naam. No na experience pia. Kweli. Nimeshukuru kwa sababu kuna vitu nimesoma kama matike kama hiyo na Yara Power pia ni the best. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Umeweza kutumia Yara Power kabisa. Ah. Uh-huh. Kwa vitunguu. <laughs> Naam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ni nzuri. Kwanza stage ya bulbing the best. Okay. Mm. Asante ni sana kwa wakati wenu. Labda nimniruhusu sasa nizungumze na mwalimu hapa. Okay. Ah, asante ni sana. Thank you. Kwa hivyo mwalimu kuna swali pia ambazo tayari tumezipokea hapa chungu nzima na kuna wale labda niwatambulishe tu kwa kwa ndiposa uweze kuwajulisha pale. Tuko na pale Grace na Busha ambaye anatupa labda wale ambao wanatusaidia volume kidogo tuweke juu. Alafu kuna pia John Paul ambaye anasema mwalimu Yara Power do you apply before transplanting if before how long before? Labda hiyo swali utaweza ukaizingatia pale mwalimu. Amos Tang rafiki yangu kabisa namuona pale anasema great insights keep it Yara Kenya. Mbolea ni Yara knowledge grows. Na pia namuona Abednego Sengwer kutoka kule maeneo ya Eldoret anasema great. Asante sana Abednego. Pia namuona nani pale? Namuona Mora Lydia ambaye anasema mwalimu. Thank you Yara for always being in the forefront in ensuring farmers get the right knowledge even before they go to use different Yara solutions, be it on the digital matters, animal and ultimately crop nutrition knowledge grows and gives us that sign pia namuona kaburi john ambaye anasema your presence on the ground is scarce i really have tried to get you and almost disappearing labda john pale utuandikia pale chini uko maeneo gani na tutaweza pia mwalimu ataweza kuzingatia na kusema jinsi yara ipo karibu na wakulima pale chini uh, kuna yuyu pia labda wa mwisho ambaye anasema john paul tena anarudia kwa kusema Thank you for educating us. Labda tukitoa asante zake pia pale na pia anasema answer also help us answer questions on how to apply on drip irrigation. Kuna yale pia what Yara is working on to make sure that we can also supply these amazing products to yeah. farmers probably who are using fertigation as a, as a way of irrigating. And maybe mwalimu ya mwisho ya mwisho kabisa pia namuona huyu pia ambaye ameuliza Oh kuna Tony Mudho, Mudhomi ambaye anasema awesome job people following from Oklahoma. 
Kwa hivyo tumeenda digital na tumeenda kabisa uh, tumevuka mipaka pale. Kwa hivyo mwalimu labda uzingatia haya maswali na wewe pia mwisho ambaye ameuliza swali kuhusiana na program ya Sweet Potato. Alright. Na mwalimu. Uh, shukran sana and uh, santeni sana kwa wale wote ambao wameweza kutukungana nasi leo. We are very grateful and uh, uh, excited for with your participation. So uh, I think swali la kwanza lilikuwa ni jinsi ya kutumia mbolea ya yara mila power. No. Ile ambayo tulisema ni it's a compound NPK na tunatumia kupanda. No. Ama transplanting. So it's very very important kwa mkulima ambaye anatumia mbolea yote ya planting anaoweka pale kama ni transplanting for example nyanya anaweka kwa ile shimo mahali anapanda anaweka hapa pale ndani anachanganya na mchanga alafu ndio anakuja anawekelea no. seedling yake pale. Kama unapanda kutumia mbegu weka pia pale kwa shimo changanya na mchanga then kuja weka mbegu. No. Cha muhimu ni ya kwamba hiyo mbolea ikue chini ya mbegu ama chini ya seedling. No. Ili wakati ambao mizizi inatokea inamea inaenda inapatana na ile mbolea na inaweza kutumia hizo nutrients zenye ziko pale. No. So hiyo ni very very important. Usitumie eh, mbolea ya planting kama top dressing eh? no. Kwa sababu kuna nutrients pale muhimu sana inaitwa phosphorus. Yeah. Mtapata ya kwamba phosphorus ukiwekelea juu haiwezi kushuka chini kwa mchanga ifikie kwenye mizizi eh? oh. kwa hivyo ukiwekelea pale juu inabaki pale juu no. for phosphorus eh? no. zile zingine zinaweza teremka but phosphorus kawaida inabaki pale ambapo imekelewa kwa hivyo ni vyema uiweke chini ya mbegu mizizi kimea itaenda ipatane na ile phosphorus na iweze ku mm. na i think the next question ilikuwa ni about kutumia mbolea through the irrigation system mm -hmm. This is uh, actually tuko na products ambazo ziko design kufanya hivyo. Mm. The idea ni kwamba mkulima kama Alexin tayari amefika amechukua ile step eh? mm -hmm. tayari akako ametunza mmea wake mimea inalishwa ina, ina, ina ita, 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 no. So the next step we want for farmers like Alexin is to take them to the next level. No. Ako tayari na infrastructure irrigation yeah. system. So we have incorporated we have designed products that can be incorporated into the irrigation system. No. And what this means for farmers like Alexin or those who have uh, such irrigation system is that they maximize the use of these systems. Yeah. Una inject mbolea yako, una koroga, una inject, inaenda direct. Mm. What that offers farmers is a very efficient way of feeding kwa sababu inaenda pale kwa root zone direct na inachukulua very very fast in a very efficient manner. So we have those products. Na ukiengia pale kwetu kwa mitandao, weka pale, uh, patiana your details, we will get back in, uh, in touch with you na tutakupatia maelezo jinsi ya kutumia hizi mbolea za kuweka through fatigation system. Naona pia mwalimu kuna mm. yale maswali ambayo tayari yaliulizwa lakini yameweza kujibiwa na wale ambao wanatusaidia kutoka kwenye tunawaita behind the scenes. Backend, eh. So labda mwalimu tumalizia kwa labda utuambie mipango ya ipi yara inayo kwa wakulima. Mm. Labda hiyo ndio ikue awamu yetu ya kumalizia. So uh, kama yara uh, awa kazi yetu sana sana ni kusolve challenges za wakulima. Na recently mambo ya kubadilika kwa hali ya anga and new challenges that farmers have to face. Unafuata sasa hivi wakulima wako na pests and diseases zenye wako wana deal nazo. Ama weather imebadilika such that unapanda ukitegemea mvua mvua kidogo inakatika ama kuna kuwa na joto zaidi it's becoming a challenge for farmers. So what we are working on is to provide a solution for farmers kwa hizi challenges ambazo tunaita biotic stresses. No. So pale nyuma kwetu as we said knowledge grows we work with knowledge we are using knowledge to develop products that will be able to give crops resistance to these uh, biotic stresses. Yeah. So pale in future wakulima mnaweza expect bidhaa nzuri zaidi zinakuja kwa kwenye soko tunazita biostimulants na kazi ya hizi biostimulants ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba mmea wako unanawiri na unaweza vuna hata wakati kuna challenges za mambo hapa na pale kama temperature kukaukiwa waidha kumekuwa na joto zaidi ama pests zimezidi hayo mambo yote kuna products ambazo tuna work behind the scenes and we will be bringing them to you soon Asante sana mwalimu, asante sana kwa wale ambao umejiunga nasi siku ya leo katika mitandao ya kijamii. Kwa chukua tusesi hapa kutoka kitengela, kisaji, tunasema asante kwa wakati wenu, imekuwa ni vyema tumejifunza. Ukitaka kujifunza zaidi, fuata um, pages zote za yara kwenye mitandao ya kijamii, ikiwa Facebook, ikiwa uh, YouTube, pamoja hata na uh, Twitter pale. Tutaweza kutangamana na wewe na tutaweza kujilimisha zaidi. Kwa sababu hapa tunasema with yara, knowledge, knowledge grows. grows. Asante sana mwalimu. Thank you, karibu sana. Thank you.